All right, so great stuff. So how is everybody? Is everybody inside uh, inside the classroom right now? C kindly, all of you, just quickly type in your names and tell me what is your age so that I know who are the people in the classroom very, very quickly because we are going to have a very small session today. Uh, just a quick reminder. Um, so that's Meg, age 12, Angad, age 16, Pearl, 14, uh, Rehan is 13, Mira is 13, uh, Atish is uh, size 11, Vedant is 12, Cookie is 13, uh, Anand here is 16, Kaira is 7, uh, yeah. okay, and Kanchan is 17, uh, then there is uh, RS 16, and then there's uh, Arnav, and there's so many of the kids. So I, I'm just seeing, I'm uh, looking at uh, the ages of all of them, so I can see that the age starts from the age of 7 till the age of 18. So that's the kind of co uh, the group that we have. So we have a, a, a completely a mix of of age groups uh, that we have. Um, uh, Nayanika, hi Nayanika, right? Uh, Divya is 18, so excellent. So, uh, so far, uh, a couple of questions I want to ask you. How many of you kids did the homework last week? Raise your hands and say yes. How many, how many of you kids did not do the homework? Type down the word no. So if you have done the homework, type down the word yes. If you've not done the homework, time out the word no, because I really want to know. How many of the kids, because it's all there in any case, but I want to see your honesty here. So I want to see your honesty here, because I already have that data, right? So there are some kids who have done the homework, there are some kids who have not done the homework. I really want to know how many people who have not done the homework. So all the kids who have not done the homework, here's what I have to tell you, and this is, one thing which I want to teach you, and this is one thing which I always teach my children. The harder you work, the luckier you get in your life. This is what I teach my children all the time. The harder you work, the luckier you get in your life. So the more hard you work, the more lucky you get. So if you want to get lucky in your life, if you want to get more in your life, if you want a lot of things in your life, if you want to be an achiever in your life, if you want to be successful in your life, if you want to, you know, go before everybody else, you want to achieve your dreams, um, uh, you want uh, uh, everything that you're dreaming about, you want that with you, you have to work hard. If you don't work hard, you will not get where you are. So please write this down. And please underline this. And this is the one of the most important things that you should learn in life. That is, the harder the work you work, the more luckier you get. I start my day at approximately 5, 5.30 in the morning. That's the time I start my day. So I am working from 5, 5.30 in the morning till almost 11, 11 in the night. That's the time I go to sleep, right? And uh, I have been doing that for last 25, 30 years. Okay? So... The harder you work, the more the chances of you getting successful in your life. I want you to write it down and I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. Because if you don't, if you take shortcuts on your hard work, you are not going to get successful, no matter how smart you are. So it's got, your success in life has got nothing or very little to do with how smart you are and a lot to do with how much hard work you do. Can you guys? Quickly say yes that you understand this. Can you guys quickly type the word yes saying that I understand that? Because if you are going to take shortcuts on hard work, okay, you are the one who is not going to get the success. Like, for example, there are about 40 or 50. Yeah, Kyra, I read it. I saw your book. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, no, you no need to, Kyra, if you can. You can type it down in the group. Yeah. You can write it down in your book and you can also type it down in your book. Yeah, you can do that. So, so if you sit down and do your homework, who will learn? Will I learn? Will all your friends on Big Bull learn? Will my neighbor learn? Will my dog learn? Will my cat learn? Who will learn? You will learn. If you learn it, who will become successful? Will my cat become successful? Will my cat's neighbor become successful? Who will become successful? you will become successful. So please remember, you are doing homework for yourself. You are not doing homework for me. You are doing homework for yourself. And 
we are observing that so we are observing all the children we have that thing in us we read all your comments yeah and the kids who work hard and impress us we will call them for a physical classroom and we will teach you and believe me you will want to attend that classroom because not only is it going to be fun it is going to be very very advanced so only if you do your homework and prove it to us and impress us is where you will be able to do and the best part is not only will you be able to attend your class for free your parents will also be able to attend the class for free and not only will your parents be able to attend the class for free we will teach your parents also how to learn the stock market and teach that to you so there are two parts of it one is that we will not only teach you we will also teach your parents things which they need to learn about the stock market so that they can teach you is that good would you like to come to a classroom with all the children where you can come with your parents and spend half a day with us and enjoy it and if you have a choice my sons will actually do the teaching so maybe not only me but my children my sons will also do the teaching did you know that my son who used to be 6 years of age which is arya used to be 6 years of age he used to teach in the class my son vivek used to be about 8 or half 8 and half years of age he used to also teach in the class so there are so many there are so many of my students who have seen my children teaching in the class when they were so small that they have been sitting down and attending my class and learning so what i would suggest is please work hard okay not for me but for yourself all right so if you haven't done the homework there have been videos kept there there is wow first video second video third video fourth video fifth video it's on youtube go there watch the videos take a paper and a pen write down your notes after you write down your notes you upload those notes on facebook okay so you upload those notes on facebook so that we know we are observing you right so so much uh, so much for this now we are going to go ahead with the session now today's session i am going to talk to you about something called as an index so today i am going to talk to you about something which is called as a index so does anybody know what an index is index anybody knows any of your children know what an index is if you know what an index is you can type it down okay a very very important session today so uh, so pearl says basket of stocks yeah <laughs> it consists of different stocks okay or who else or who else says what is an index index what is an index anybody else knows what is an index except for pearl and ashish raj san all right so if it is not there then i'm going to explain to you may there is i think list of stocks right so all of you guys are right there index means a list of stocks now here's what uh, how many of you guys have heard from your parents or from your parents friends or from your friends saying that market has gone down or market has gone up how many of you guys have heard this anybody heard this saying that oh market has gone up so much market is going up right so or people say that market has gone down so much market is going down so what does it mean so we are going to try to learn today what does it mean by saying market has gone down and market has gone up what the what is this market that everybody talks about and how does it go up and up so just give me one second yeah so what is this thing that everybody is talking about market has gone down or market has gone up right yeah so uh, but daddy says market gir gaya और मार्केट उड़ गया राइट एब्सोल्युटली सो व्हेन मार्केट जब गिर जाता है तो डैड इज वेरी वेरी टेंस्ड इन लाइफ व्हेन मार्केट जब ऊपर जाता है तो डैड इज वेरी हैप्पी इन लाइफ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गाइस हैव हैव ऑब्जर्व दिस दैट योर डैडी व्हेन सेज मार्केट गिर गया देन ही इज वेरी अपसेट इन लाइफ एंड देन यू कांट गेट एनी गिफ्ट्स फ्रॉम हिम बट व्हेन डैडी सेज मार्केट बहुत ऊपर गया सो देन यू नो डैड इज वेरी हैप्पी एंड देन यू कैन आस्क हिम फॉर गिफ्ट्स सो हियर्स अनदर लर्निंग फॉर यू okay so that is the reason why you should find out what is happening in the market is that when the market is going up and when your daddy says market upar gaya okay that time daddy will be very happy and when daddy will be very happy you can ask him for whatever gift you want 
can you learn this can you learn this that whenever daddy says market is very happy or when daddy is generally very happy in life you should go and ask your dad that market upar gaya kya has the market gone up and if dad says yes so you know that he is happy and then you should ask him for whatever gift you want but if daddy say comes and says he is looking very stressed and very tensed in life and he says market has gone down then don't ask him for a gift okay then don't ask him for a gift is that okay then what you should do is you should give him a back massage because he needs for stress so how many of you kids will give a back massage to your dad or a shoulder massage to your dad when he says that the market will go down anybody like that please tell me any of you kids will do this excellent so you should do that so when the market goes up dad is happy ask him for gifts when the market goes down dad is not happy give him a back massage okay or a, or a shoulder massage okay or or get, or make some good tea for him so that he is happy in life all right i will jump on his back nayonika says i'll jump on his back excellent so we are going to learn today what is this market what is this market when your dad says market upar gaya so what is this market that he talks about okay now one question i want to ask you and i want to see how many kids are smart here how many smart kids are here okay so how many stocks are there in the market there are how many stocks in the market ashish says 4 5000 stocks okay navinika says 100 stocks abhay patel says 6000 stocks Okay, Meg Dalvi says. Uh, so there are a lot of people who are saying thousand stocks, four thousand stocks, five hundred stocks. Everybody is saying different stocks. Okay, Vidhan says it's five thousand five hundred stocks. Very precise. Okay, thousands but don't know the exact number. So okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, okay, I'm going to ask you one more question. How many? Which are the two biggest markets in India? Which are the two biggest markets in India? Very quickly type down. I want to see who is writing what. Which are the two biggest markets in India? All right. So there, everybody is got it right. There is a Bombay Stock Exchange and there is a National Stock Exchange. The two biggest markets in India is BSE and NSE. Right. And now when the when when your dad says that the market has gone up, okay. What do you think has gone up? I want to ask you. When your dad says market has gone up. what does that mean what do you think has gone up what has gone up everybody type down whatever you feel if you know it you type down if you don't know it you don't type down so yeah so a lot of people are saying index some people are saying prices some people are saying many stocks have gone up stocks have gone up okay so excellent all of you guys are there now i want to ask you one more question when your dad says that the market has gone up Does that mean all three thousand stocks have gone up? When your dad says market has gone up, does that mean all three thousand stocks have gone up? No, most of them have gone up. When your dad is very stressed in life and says market has gone down, does that mean all three thousand stocks have gone down? No. So then, which stocks are those stocks that have gone up or down, which tells us? Whether the market has gone up or not, right? So, for us to find out, how do you find out that the market gone up or down? So, here's how it is, and I'm going to explain this to you. So, all of you guys are in school, right? Or school or colleges. So, if all of you guys are in school, you let's say you have a class. So, let's say you are in eighth standard. Okay, let us assume so you have your eighth standard. You have your entire eighth standard, and then in that eighth standard, you have A division, there is B division, there is C division. Am I right? If you are in the eighth standard, you have division A, division B, and division C. Am I right or wrong? Right. So either you are in A division, B division, or C division. Also, between A division, B division, and C division, okay, you also have you are into different houses. So there is a red house, there is a green house, there is a blue house, and there is a yellow house. Am I right or wrong? Are you guys able to get this? There are different houses, correct or not? Now, so in eighth A, there will be if there are about hundred students in eighth A, 
25 will be from A, red, 25 will be from blue, 25 will be from yellow, and 25 will be from green. The same thing with B division and C division. Am I right or wrong? More or less. So they will be, so the entire school is one divided into classes, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight. And it is also divided into divisions, A, B, C. And it is also divided into uh, uh, houses, red, green, blue, and yellow, correct or not? And it is also divided into different hobby classes. So some of you guys must be interested in art, some of you guys must be interested in paintings, some of you guys must be interested in craft, some of you guys are interested in playing sports, some of you guys are interested in, uh, you know, in diction, some of you guys are in, uh, interested in swimming. So they are all the kids are again divided into different parts. Am I right or wrong? So why is that done? It is done to find out how your kids are performing. So the simplest way I can explain to you what an index is, is your, uh, is your houses. Red house, green house, blue house, and yellow house. These are indexes. Okay, so your entire school, if I had to see the performance of four different groups, I will make an index of so I can make an index of red house, I can make an index of green house, I can make an index of blue house, and I can make an index of yellow house. You guys get this? If all the kids understood this, you could also sit down. Okay, I'll explain to you what an index is. You could also sit down and make an index of 8th standard. So 8th A, 8th B, 8th C. Correct or not? 8th A, 8th B, and 8th C. You could also make an index of 7th standard, 7th A, 7th B, 7th C. So let's say, so what is an index? Index, like if you had to use the word index in school, I would say index is a group of chosen stocks or students. Not stock. Index is a group of chosen students. So 8A is an index. 8B is an index. 9th C is an index. 10th D is an index. Are you okay? Are you guys uh, are able to understand this? So index is a group of chosen students in school. So similarly, in the stock market, index is a group of chosen stocks. Can you write it down? So index is a group of chosen stocks. Index is a group of chosen stocks. So far, have you understood? Everybody understood? Can you say quickly say yes to me so that I know? Just type Y so that I know you have understood so that I can go forward. So how many indexes can we have? We can have a lot of indexes. Let's say, for example, you can have an index of blue house in the fifth standard. You can have an index of greenhouse in the seventh standard. You can have an index of yellow house in the entire school. You can have an index of red house in junior school. Am I right or wrong? You guys are understanding this. You guys are able to visualize this. Okay. All right. Similarly, in the stock market, there are different indexes. Now, why are the indexes made? Indexes are made so that it tells you how most of the stocks in that group are performing. Let's say, for example, if you had to have a competition between red, green, blue, and yellow house, then you will say, you know what? Yellow house is winning. Does that mean all the students of yellow house are winning? No. It only means that most of the students of yellow house are many winning more. Or if I say that red house is not winning at all, so what does that mean? Does that mean that all the students of red houses are not doing their job? It only means red houses, most of the kids of red houses are not doing well. So index is telling you the performance of a group of 
children that's what means in school index is a shows you the performance of group of children in school so similarly in the stock market there are different indexes so bombay stock exchange has got a lot of indexes national stock exchange has got a lot of different indexes so what we are going to do now is we are going to actually go to the website of bombay stock exchange and national stock exchange and we are going to try to find out what are the stocks which are what are the indexes and what are the stocks okay now how many of you kids have gone to national stock exchange website how many kids went to national stock exchange website and given that homework anybody did that okay so not too many of the kids but if you haven't then here's what i want you to do i want you to go and visit the website of national stock exchange so there are two websites i want you to see one is national stock exchange and second is called as bombay stock exchange so this is bombay stock exchange uh and this is called as national stock exchange two stock exchanges bombay stock exchange is the oldest stock exchange in india national stock exchange started in 1994 now let us find out which are the indexes of national stock exchange okay so this is national stock exchange we'll see what are the indexes of national stock exchange so see so if we click over here i'm just going to show it to you so this is the website of it uh, these are the different indexes so this is called as a nifty 50 index so one of the most popular indexes in india and in the world is called as nifty 50 write it down nifty n i f t y nifty 50 this called nifty 50 okay now why do you think it is called as nifty 50 can anybody type down the word why it is called as nifty 50 why not nifty 51 now why not nifty 60 Why not Nifty ninety? Why is it called as Nifty fifty? Come on. Why is it called as Nifty fifty? Excellent. It is called as Nifty fifty because it has most of the time. So here's what what I want you to write it down. Okay. Here's what I want you to write it down. most of the time it has 50 stocks most of the time not always sometimes very rarely it also has 51 stocks okay so sometimes you might not know this or your parents might not know this or your friends might not know this so you can tell them that most of the time it has got 50 stocks sometimes it has got 51 also very very rarely but it has so it is not necessarily 50 stocks it could also have 51 stocks because when they are changing the index composition of the stocks they change sometimes it happens like that that most of the time and if it tells you not most all the time then you can tell them no 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 it's not like that till most of the time okay all right so there is something which is called as nifty 50 stocks then there is something which is called as nifty next 50 stocks there is mid cap stocks and there is something which is called as auto stock so here's what we are going to do now we are going to look at all the list of indexes that nifty has okay all the indexes that nifty has so if you want you can do this again this is all going to get recorded you can go visit again and you can uh, you know you can do this yourself so if you go to the website of nifty you go here customize index list view all indexes so you can click on this and you will open up all of this so and if you open up all of this then you can see that there is something called as nifty 50 next 50 mid cap mid cap 100 mid cap 150 small cap small cap small cap mid cap so there is all of them so the largest stocks so largest stocks and the most high performing stocks are the largest the 50 largest companies of india are are added up in nifty 50 i'm going to repeat it again the 50 largest 50 largest 
and the highest performing stocks in India are together in a index called Nifty 50. Okay. Let's say uh, you guys in school have what is called a students council. Okay. So the, how many of you kids know that you have a students council? Anybody knows what is a students council in school? Like my son, my elder son used to be uh, the sports captain in school. So he was in the students council. My younger son used to be, used to be what? Captain. So he used to be a house captain. So my elder son used to be a sports captain. So he used to be in students council. My younger son used to be the house captain of Greenhouse. So he also used to be in students council. So a students council is a group of students who are heading, are either monitors or are heads of uh, houses, right? That is called as a students council. So similarly, the 50 best stocks in Nifty are grouped together and is called as Nifty 50. So this group of 50 stocks, Nifty 50 stocks, is called as the, is, is a group of top 50 stocks of National Stock Exchange. This is called as Nifty. So the next top 50 stocks are called as Next 50. So can you write it down? So top 50 stocks are called as Nifty 50. The next best stocks are called as Nifty 50. Something which is called as mid cap stocks, mid cap 50. Mid cap stocks or mid cap 50 stocks means Nifty mid cap means the middle portion of the stocks, middle, the, the mid size company. Like say, if Nifty 50 would be students from 8th and 9th and 10th standard, mid cap stocks would be students from 4th, 5th and 6th standard. Mid cap is mid, in the middle. And then there is something which is called as small cap 50. Now, small cap 50 will be top. 50 best companies who are in the who are small companies. So from students from the first, second, third, and fourth standard, if you take the top 50 students from the first, second, third, and fourth standard and you make an index out of them or a group out of them, then they will be called as small cap 50. Okay, so this is called as uh, nifty 50. Okay, now we will go a little bit further and we will show you what is called as bad. So there is something called as auto, nifty auto. Now, what do you think would be inside nifty auto? Can anybody guess? When I say nifty auto, what would be inside nifty auto? Nifty auto. Automobile company, right? Automobile companies. So automobile companies will be Nifty Auto, right? And if I say that Nifty, Nifty Bank or Bank Nifty, then what would be in the Bank Nifty? What would be in the Bank Nifty? The top best banks of India, correct or not? So these are the different indexes of Nifty Auto and Nifty. So these are all the different indexes. So what we do is you take the Nifty 50 and then what we do is we find out the price of Nifty 50 and then you find out how the Nifty 50 is indexed. Uh, is so these, so let's, I'm just going to give you an example about Nifty 50 now. So this is the Nifty 50. These are the gainers of Nifty 50 and these are the companies which are losing today. So every day, some stocks are gaining, are going up, and some stocks are losing, which means they're coming down. So if you want to find out in Nifty 50, what are the stocks which are going up, and in Nifty 50, what are the stocks which are going down, all you have to do is just go to this, where, this website called Nifty, and have a look at this. So gainers of Nifty 50, will be BV's lab today, HDFC Bank. And which are the losers of Nifty 50? This is Hindalco, Coal India, and Maruti. And this is how the price was going. going. So I want, to, I want you to look at this chart, okay? And can you quickly tell me, okay, very, very simplistically, okay? 
is the price of the stocks going up today or down today so is the price of the stocks going up or down here is the price going up or down okay so if the price is going up will your father will be happy or unhappy the price is going up will your father be happy or unhappy so if your father is happy should you ask him for a gift or should you not ask him for a gift so today is a gift day or today is a massage day gift day or massage day the gift day okay all right so uh, massage day no for today is a gift day because the price went up you see this the price going went up okay if you want to see how the price went down i'll show you nifty next 50 nifty this is nifty next so this is a stock called index called nifty next so in nifty next the price of the nifty next went up or down in nifty next the price went up or down down because if it goes up it is green and if it goes down it is red see this if it goes if this is nifty if it goes up it is green and if it goes down then it is red so if it is in red it has gone down so if the price of nifty next has gone down it is massage time or gift time massage time or gift time massage time very good <laughs> very good so now we are going to look at nifty mid cap so this is a mid cap stock so all the mid cap stocks what did i tell you about the mid cap stocks fifth sixth seventh standard are the mid uh, you know are the mid years so mid cap would be the best students from the fifth sixth seventh standard small cap would be students from first second third fourth standard large cap would be eighth ninth tenth standard okay Okay. So Nirmit is asking me there is another index called as Alpha. So Nirmit, I want to answer you that not only there are one indexes, there are at least there are at least forty different indexes over here. Okay, there are not one or two, but there are all forty different indexes. So if you look at it. So there are forty different indexes. If you see this, these are all the list of all the indexes. If you see this, these are all the list of indexes. Okay, you see this. So these are all the. So this is Nifty Composition, G Sec Index. There is something called a Nifty Services Index. There is Commodities Index. There is Nifty Two Hundred Index. So like for example, on a professional platform, on a professional platform. <laughs> you want to find out whether the indexes are going up or down this is what we do so we have this professionally we have all this okay let's have a look just one second so uh, alpha index is a different type of index okay nifty alpha is a different type of index you understanding just one second So Tamanna is asking, the top fifty of the Nifty Fifty index changes every day, and the answer is no. I think once in one quarter, or once in one year, or once in one in a half year, the the group of that fifty stocks change. So it doesn't change every day. Once it is decided, okay, by once it is decided that these are the fifty stocks. then they either don't change it for one quarter or they don't change it for a year okay so different companies have different rules okay so like for example let's have a look at it over here now uh, this is a professional trading software so this is nifty 50 this is bank nifty this is nifty 500 this is nifty 200 this is nifty 100 this is nifty fmcg this is nifty pharma you see this There's Nifty Pharma. There's the Nifty IT. Okay. There's Nifty IT, and there is Nifty Auto. 
So there is an auto, there is Nifty auto. So if you see that Nifty auto, it has been going down for such a long time. Now it has been, go it is going up now, but it has been going down for such a long time. And there is mid cap, right? And then there is Nifty small cap. So even small cap has been going up. And then there is Nifty net. So there are different indexes. There are different indexes. So this is all Nifty indexes. These are all Nifty indexes. So if you want to see global indexes, I will show you some global indexes. Global indexes means indexes around the world. So there are different indexes around the world. And I'm going to explain those indexes to you. Okay, so just hold on for a minute. So far, everybody understood. So far, everybody understood. Is this getting very, very easy and clear to you? All right. So let's look at some of the indexes of the world. So this index is called as a Dow S&P 500. This index is called as S&P 500. It is called as Standard and Poor. S&P stands for, I'm going to repeat it again. S&P stands for Standard and Poor. It's a company. The name of the company is called Standard and Poor. We call it in short form S&P. Okay. So S&P 500 is a index in the United States, in the America. In the America, there is a index. There's a the, the, uh, there's an index called as S&P 500. So this is the, it has got 500 stocks. So this is S&P 500. Okay. Standard and Poor. And this is another index which is called as Dow Jones 30. So this is called as Dow Jones 30 or Dow or Dow Jones 30. Now when you say Dow Jones 30, it would have how many stocks? If I say S&P 500, it has got how many stocks? If I say Dow Jones 30, it has got how many stocks? Excellent. So you guys got, got that, right? So, so this is Dow Jones. Then there is a index called Nikkei. N I K K E I. Nikkei. Nikkei is an index of the Japanese stock exchange of Japan. It's called Nikkei 225. It's called Nikkei 225 because it has got 225 stocks. So Japanese index is called as Nikkei 225. Then there is a store of there is a stock exchange called Hang Sen. Hang Sen. Hang Sen is an index which is from Hong Kong. Hang Sen. Okay, or Chinese index. Then there is an index called Kospi. K O S P I. It is a Korean stock exchange called Kospi. Okay. Then there is an index called as FTSE. FTSE FTSE. FTSE is an index which belongs to United Kingdom, UK, Britain, London. Okay. Britain and London is called as COSPI, FTSE. Then DAX is an index which is from Germany. So a German, the index of German country is called as DAX, D A X. Okay. So these are all the different indexes that we have. Okay, so different next for that. Okay, now here's what it is. So today we took a little bit of a more heavier topic. So I don't want to go up uh, anymore. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I'm going to give you homework now. So homework is whatever that you learn today, you have to type it down. Okay, and you have to show me that what you have learned because I'm going to read each and every comment. That's point number one. Point number two. You are going to find out, okay, point number two, okay, and you need to take a little bit of help. And listen to me very carefully. There are two companies in the world, two major companies in the world which manage indexes. Let me say it again to you. There are two major companies in the world which major companies, there are a lot of them, but two of the major ones, okay, which manage indexes. I want you to type down the name of those two companies which manage indexes. Okay, that's another homework. And homework number three. You are going to go to the website of Bombay Stock Exchange. So this is National Stock Exchange. And I explained to you 
reference nexus of national stock exchange you are going to go to the website of bombay stock exchange and you are going to tell me i need you to take a little bit of help from your dad and i want you to sit down and tell me which are the top 5 major indexes of bombay stock exchange top 5 and different indexes of bombay stock exchange you understood so it's all there on the website you just have to go to the website you have to read it okay and you have to sit down and type it okay so ashish raj kulkarni's question is that do the index move in the direction of the stock or do the stock move in the direction of index and the answer is no answer is no either way there would be times where the index would go up but a lot of stocks would go down there would be time where the index would go down but a lot of stocks would go up let me say it to you again there would be times where the index would go up and lot of stocks would go down but there will also be times where the index will go down and lot of stocks will go up and why that happens i will explain to you the next time so next time i will uh, once you understand the basis of this i will explain to you more of this okay so uh, the homework has been given uh, again we are going to be sitting down so homework is very simple one type down everything that you learnt okay uh, where do you have to type it down you have to type it down here so wait so where do you need to type it down you are going to type down your answers here so you see this in the comment section you are going to sit down and type down all your answers here whatever you have learned today okay it's the lesson number 6 you are going to sit down and type down all these answers here okay that's one second homework is that you are going to go and find out what are the top 5 indexes in bombay stock exchange okay so these are the homework that you have all right okay cool so this is the last uh, program today for this year after that we will have the big bull session number 7 only in 2021 okay only in 2021 so if you guys have not been able to attend all the session 6 7 uh, they are they are all recorded they are all given to you you can go and uh, listen to them and you can do your homework okay and i will meet you in 20 21 so happy new year to all of you and i will meet you in the first or the second week of 2021 all right so thank you guys thank you so much thank you for your time i hope you have been able to learn and i have made it very very easy for you okay and i will see you next week